So yesterday marked seven weeks since my surgery, which meant I could start reintroducing back into team training. So yesterday I joined in on San Diego State University men's soccer's team training, and today I'm really sore. So if you've been following me for a while, then you know I actually got lower abdominal surgery, and I haven't actually participated in a team training since August 10th. So after a full training session with them, today I woke up and I could barely move. In today's video, I wanna show you how pro footballers deal with this soreness, and all the stuff that I'm gonna show you today is the exact same stuff that I also have done with St. Louis FC, with the Orange County Blues, over in Germany, and then with my college team. It's all the same stuff, so, Let's get into it. First off, if you watch my lactic acid does not cause muscle soreness video, then by now you know that lactic acid does not cause muscle soreness. What actually causes muscle soreness is these tiny microscopic tears that occur during strenuous exercise. So you can't get rid of muscle soreness because you can't flush out lactic acid or you can't just get rid of this lactic acid because there is no lactic acid in your muscles the day after strenuous exercise. And to be 100% honest, the only thing that you really can do and to be 100% and to be 100% honest, the only thing that you really can do is just rest and eat healthy. Those are the two things that are gonna help the most in terms of recovery. This is because your body is sending protein into its muscles to help rebuild these tears, to help them become stronger. This takes time, there's, there's no way around that. Having said that, there are ways that you can slightly speed up this recovery process and kind of deal with this lack of range of motion that you're probably feeling. So the first thing we do to help kind of speed up the process is light exercise. Light exercise the day after a game or a strenuous training or a hard weightlifting session helps bring in blood filled with oxygen and nutrients into the muscles and kind of helps recover you a little bit quicker than if you were just to stay in bed all day. So the first thing we do is really hop into the gym, hop on a bike for maybe five or ten minutes and just go very lightly. Next we'll head to a field and do some very light dynamic movements, jogging, some light dynamic stretching, maybe some even static stretching. Again just to get the legs moving to get some blood and some oxygen flowing to these legs because it's been proven that light exercise dynamic stretching helps increase this range of motion temporarily rarely and it's actually better than doing absolutely nothing and just resting. For the dynamic movements we do all the stuff that you guys probably do. It's just high knees, butt kickers, light jog, karaoke, side to side, sweep the grass with your hands, get some hamstring stretch, quad stretch, just stuff that I guarantee you guys have all done. And we'll be out at the field anywhere from five to ten minutes again. So now we've done anywhere from five to ten minutes on the bike and five to ten minutes at the field. Just very very light stuff. If you're feeling it some of the guys might kick around, play some rondos, do some juggling, but it's kind of all up to you and how your body's feeling. Like I said before the most important thing is time and diet when it comes to soreness so throughout the entire day we're making sure they're eating very very healthy to feel our muscles to be able to build up that faster and stronger so the main thing is that we're consuming a ton of lean protein sources like fish chicken lean beef tofu nuts beans stuff like that that's gonna help our muscles rebuild that faster we build those tears faster we also consume complex carbs we have energy for today or tomorrow whatever the next game or next training is coming up and lastly we do healthy fats and water just to to complete this kind of diet so we have really good fuel going into our body. Ah, just kidding. Now maybe later in the day we might do some foam rolling and get a light massage from our team trainer. And again, this is the same concept as light exercise. You're getting blood into your muscles and it's kind of helping make that recovery process speed up a little bit faster. Now the science behind stretching and exercise and foam rolling um, has been to show there are some effects, but again, if you're sore, you're gonna be sore. It's gonna take time, time and food. Those are the two main things. Anyway, when we foam roll, we like to spend two to three minutes on our problem areas, the areas that we feel that are sore, so quads, hamstrings, whatever you're feeling sore, two to three minutes in that area, that's all you really need. And last thing, and I know this is a big thing that you guys see a lot, are ice baths or icing. And honestly, icing is very controversial in terms of actual alleviating muscle soreness. And most studies have shown that it really doesn't have that much effect. Now, if you like it, if you do ice baths and you live by it, you think it helps you, then do it. It's not gonna hurt you. Now, these things are just gonna help you improve your range of motion temporarily and just kind of get you feeling a little bit better and maybe speed up the process a little bit. There's still not that much conclusive evidence about what to do when you're actually sore. So as always, just do what you like to do. A lot of the stuff might be placebo, a lot of the stuff might actually give you a little bit of benefit. So try out these techniques, see what you like to do, and then do it. That's my advice. And that's about it. All these techniques are not gonna be quick fixes. Like I said, the most important thing is time and diet. And if you are sore, you're gonna be sore. But that is what professional teams do in order to really deal with muscle soreness. I'm not saying fix or get rid of muscle soreness, but to handle the muscle soreness. So anyway, that's the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And did I say subscribe? Subscribe, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.